Hey everybody, hope you're having a truly magical day today. I am joined by my friend Rob, and we're gonna talk about Universal and a super special concert that's coming really soon. Let's do it. Thanks for having me, Michael. You're awesome. It was so awesome to meet you uh, last month. It was we had a, such a blast over at Universal. Um, I'm I'm a I'm a theme park junkie. I love Disney. I love Universal. I've been going for years. Um, uh, I just so when this opportunity came about for me to be the event coordinator for Maroon 5 at Universal Orlando Resort in August, I jumped at it. So it was like a dream job come true. Amazing. Um, I'm just so excited to, I think you know, to talk about it. This job, man. You're, you get to yes. be like with the band. Like you're, you're the guy. It's like, hey, like, you know, hey, can you uh, schedule us downtown? Oh, sure. No problem. Like, let's, let's have that job. I want that job. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, I just uh, I don't know what to even to say. It's just I'm just I'm excited. That's all. Yeah. Just uh, universal private event. Right. Rune five. This is going to be let's, let's the first of its it. kind, is my understanding. This music after dark, the whole yeah. experience is a first of its kind. I want to, we're going to go with deeper and dive into this, but first let's start with like top of the wave tops. Tell us about the event. Tell us what who's going to be there. The, can you yeah, tell? Yeah, yeah. And all the fun things that are going to be included. We'll start with the top, and then we'll kind of work our way a little deeper into what it's going to be yeah. all about. So first and foremost, musicafterdark.com. It's a brand new entity. We're not brand new though. Like I've been around doing events. Um, I've done a lot of events with Bon Jovi over the years. Um, I've been doing it 15 drop, years. Drop, right? just, just... Yeah, yeah, I'm just throwing it out there. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, I've done experiences th throughout the world, um, you know, uh, Canada, South America, Europe, uh, Japan, uh, Australia. We've been everywhere doing different events and everything. And I've worked with the current company I'm working for now, and they've kind of molded this new uh, experience called Music After Dark. So musicafterdark.com. Uh, and their first event out the gates, which is incredible, is Maroon 5 at Universal Studios Orlando. So um, it's just, it's exciting. It's an Uber VIP package. You can get a hotel stay. You can get a day pass. We have, Oh, Mike, Michael, I forgot to tell you, we have a day pass VIP ticket too. So you can okay. Okay. buy the day pass and the VIP too. That just, we right. just added that. So, okay. well, that's good but yeah, it's cool. But your headliner, so, as we know, is the yes. big band themselves. They, when you when we were first going back and forth, you were talking about that. And I was like, all right, Maroon 5, we've all heard of them. They are no small band. Let's put it that way. No small band. Huge. Wow, huge massive. Yeah. Wow. And oh, the idea God. that they're going to be there is one thing. What really grabbed me about when we were having our conversation earlier was the fact that this is this event is smaller than most events they do and my understanding is yeah. like one of the absolute smallest this is an intimate event with maroon five can you give yeah, me yeah definitely one? yeah a lot of people go to um like um the mardi gras concerts they have there that's really all they do they just do mardi gras concerts um it is in the original universal studios theme park you know the you have islands of adventure you have Universal Studios. So a lot of people don't know that, Michael. I don't know if you know that, but um, so you walk in. <laughs> I, know. I, like, I, yeah, I know you know, know that. Of course I know, like totally. So me and Michael, we, we, we took a tour of the whole Universal uh, last week, last month, and uh, you walk in, and right to the left, right in front of Rip Rock and Roller Coaster, they have a small stage, and we talked about the event there. We had we were uh, we had a little powwow. I was telling you all about it and everything. And um, generally, they have the capacity, like, when the, the park is open for normal events, like for concerts, there's a capacity of, like, 10,000 people, which right. the area, like, in the whole area is pretty big. We're going to be a private event. You have to buy a separate ticket for our event. It is an Uber VIP boutique concert. They're going to bring their arena show to this small area. And we're going to be, I would guess... Just like 20, 25, 30% of that huge capacity they have for normal shows, that's what we're going to have. So, and the cool part is, you know, early evening to one o'clock in the morning, we have Universal Studios, most of it all to ourselves. Like, um, the, the, critical the mummy's part's coming Potter. back. Critical what was that? Harry, we have Harry Potter. Like, that's oh, yeah, yeah, Potter. yeah. I didn't even get to that. That's like, that's just the cherry on the top. I so, I, okay, you know, go we're going to tell me. So yeah, like uh, we have um, you know Jimmy Fallon ride. We got the Rip Rock and Roller Coaster. We have um, the Minions, the, the biggest movie in the world, and the, is the Minions this week. I saw that, and um, the Mummy ride will be open by the end of the summer when we're having the event, which is great. So the Mummy ride, and um, uh, Fast and Furious, um, all the, all the, and the Transformers, and then towards the back there, Diagon Alley, all open, all to ourselves. It's gonna be amazing. You can drink. 
all the butter beer you want. And I think, Michael, I think I want to have a contest with you. I think I'm going to call it out right now. Who could drink the most butter beers? So I, I, I don't know if I should accept that <laughs> contest like right off the bat here. Like, is, I don't know. I feel like I, uh, people are going to look at me on stage being like, so so how many butter beers is this, Michael? No, not alcoholic, not alcoholic. But, yeah. Be, I, uh, I don't know. But they, they, I don't know if you know this, there, there's a lot of different various butter beers. I would guess there's like eight to ten of them or something. It, you could try all of them. You know, you could have a big tray of them. Although wait, there's wait, hot, wait, there's cold, like, there's whatever. Like, I know of the like, the hot, the ice, and the cold one. There you yeah. Know, there's more types but, of butter beer. But there's all different. It's not butter beer, but they have all kind of Harry Potter drinks, too. They okay, kind okay. of have incorporated. So I apologize. You're right. No, 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 no. I'm just like. But yeah, yeah. There's like. Kind of, but you know they have butter beer ice cream. Hold on a minute. Oh, I didn't butter, know that. Butter beer ice cream, it was, I was told about this, but I don't okay. know if it's true. And I got to go back. To clearly, I'll be back for the concert. I'll try yeah. it then. I'll yeah, yeah. Out. Some full show. You know, afterwards, when you walk in, they're going to be serving platters of food. I have the menus right here. I told Michael, okay, yeah, I'm going to no, pull I them up. About the food that they're so, be yeah, having. you know, you walk in, butler past items, watermelon, feta bites. I have this thing, mini cheeseburgers, mac and cheese melts, hot dogs, soft pretzels, candy pecans. That's like the little special extra stuff they're going to do. Then you can walk to any stand. You can get, you know, churros, hot dogs, popcorn, hamburgers. You know, a couple of the restaurants are going to be open. There's going to be a menu. You just walk in. You get whatever you want. You get like 10 of things, whatever you want. It's great. You know, the, the, the bunch of different stands open. We do have a VIP option, too. There's going to be um, a hotel package. We're, we have uh, the Aventura. We have the um, Royal Pacific. We have um, Sapphire Falls. But the Hard Rock is sold Hard out. Rock. We had the Hard Rock, but that is sold out. So uh, three days, two nights. You get a VIP package, half day pass to Islands of Adventure, and then you come over, and then you come over to the main event at seven o'clock. You know, you start lining up seven thirty to one o'clock. We're at Universal Studios. That's where the the main event's going to be. And if you want to wait, then we give you a little. If you with those hotel packages, you get a little gift card for, you know, you get, you can buy food and beverages beforehand. So we'll take care of you there too. So. I love it. It's going to be awesome. Now, when it comes to Universal, I'm I'm not as well acquainted with all of the great things. And I hate to admit it, Robin, you have to tell me if uh, if I've really missed out on an opportunity here. I never rode on the Jaws attraction oh. at Universal. I know. I know. I'm in pain just thinking about it. They replaced it. I know. I know. But for me, you know a lot about Universal that I yeah. just don't know anything about. When we were going through uh, that store, the tribute store, you you like knew it all. Oh, yeah. Like you were like, okay, this is how you do this, and this is where this is from, and this is from this movie. Tell us a bit more about like your favorite part of Universal, the history behind it. Like, I want to pick your brain on these Universal things that I know nothing about. Yeah, a lot's changed over with Universal over the years. Like, uh, like you, it's a weakness. I love the Jaws ride; it's incredible. They had Back to the Future there. They had the original King Kong confrontation, the King Kong ride. That was my favorite. When I went there early on, they had a little, a couple technical difficulties. I waited three, four hours for that ride when I was a kid, but that's what I went on. I love that. And Earthquake was my other favorite retro ride. To this, you know, that's now the Fast and the Furious. But I love, like I the, love all those rides. I love the new rides too. What was that? Like the backstage tour where they had the. Uh, remember the yeah. backstage tour? Is it was it like that with Earthquake? Because I never went on Earthquake either. Um, well, in Hollywood, they have one like a uh, tram tour, and you go on Earthquake, you go do King Kong, you do a bunch of different things. But this, they kind of when they built Universal Studios Florida, they kind of made them separate attractions, which was kind of cool. So, um, but uh, yeah, just they, they, they believe it or not, they did have a little trivia question. They did have a tram tour at Universal Studios Orlando, but it just over the years they just got rid of it. It just kind of drove around the park, and you went backstage a little bit, and just saw buildings and. I have it on my channel, but there's uh, not much. They didn't really show much. Anymore. I'll have to look at that, though. I never did that either. Yeah. More to do for sure. 100%. Yeah, yeah, it's all. It awesome. was the Epic Universe coming, too. I was thinking about that. Yeah. Like, they're they awesome. about to see a massive. <laughs> just like, okay, this is going to be this is going to be crazy. I, last time I heard, they're still about three or four years away. I don't know if you heard anything different about that. <laughs> but uh, they're still working. They, haven't, they didn't tell me anything. So oh, they're okay. probably no, good right. that they didn't tell me anything because I would probably spill it all. Right, so, right. But, yeah, they didn't, didn't give me any information. I see all the all the stuff on uh, social media like yeah. everyone else, but it looks awesome. I don't know. They were saying it. I think it was uh, 2025, I think it was opening. Right. I think that's when they were saying it. But I don't know. It just it looks like it's coming along, so I'm excited. Like I, the, I think they, it's a known fact that the Mario uh, Nintendo land is going to be there, so I'm excited for that. I, I have so. saw some video of it from Japan, and it just yeah, it looks awesome. unbelievable. I am so excited for that. And actually, speaking yeah. of some of the great things Universal is doing, have you been to Volcano Bay? 
I haven't. I'm just uh, the, the opportunity was last month, but that, hoping uh, to sneak down there before. I cannot so I tell you there. how much I love that water park. I, it, in my opinion, it is right now among the best, the absolute best water parks that I've been to. Great attractions. That I love, like the the like river pool where you just go around and then you're just like in these massive. That's waves. my favorite. <laughs> I, I love the lazy like, river. I never want to leave that place. I want to go back so badly, but it's I, you know, the annual pass. Right. You can't get a separate one just for that. So I'm like, ah, I got to get back there at some point. I will. I, We're going to go. It really is so, so good. And the food, by the way, the food there. So you know, I found the best food at Disney or excuse me, at Universal. <laughs> My mind's automatically set. <laughs> Oh, good. <laughs> the best food at Universal is from Harry Potter, either one of the two Harry Potter areas or Volcano Bay. I don't know if you found like better food or the best food at Universal, but that's where I found the best. I don't know. What about that you? Was awesome, yeah. No, you know, I don't. We, we where, where, where did we have our? Uh, we had a little um, walk-up party for our social. Oh, that was uh, <laughs> cowfish, head, cowfish head. That's what I meant. There's another area called Dogfish, where in Maryland, where I grew up. There, right. A brewery. It's awesome. Yeah, I liked the food there. It was pretty awesome. But uh, it, well, it was really good. They had an ahi tuna. That was delicious. Yeah, it was really good. I feel like for uh, that spot, the cowfish, you have to get like the sushi. Or like the burgers, I mix the two. I'm like, I like just that sushi or that burger. It's so good. That's their specialty. Yep. I didn't. Yep. That was the best I found. But I, I got. But you got to. You got to show me the ropes. You know, I want to yeah, be. Gotta show, these are. Oh my. You got to be my mentor. So. Some of these food items are just unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, that's. I feel like some of the parks are really just like. There's a lot of things to compete on, right? Great attractions, all these things. But when they compete on the food, it's like we all win because you get this amazing flavors and they bring in these chefs from around the world who just do incredible things. I don't know. It, yeah. I, I feel like they do an amazing job. I love when they mix it up and they oh, do cool. original, unique stuff. It's awesome. Big time, big time. Now, have you been to any of the special events at Universal uh, outside the one that we're going to, of course? No, you know, I haven't been to anything uh, special. I always want to go to all the different stuff. Oh, yeah. I'm a Mar scaredy Mar cat. Mardi Gras. So. Mardi Gras, I definitely yeah, got to visit. Oh, you, you said scaredy cat? I, so I haven't been to Halloween Horror Nights? I'm not doing it. I'm not. Mm -mm. I got friends trying to pull my leg every single time saying, Michael, you got to get to Halloween Horror Nights. Have you been? See. I have not been there yet. So, you know, Michael, I think your biggest video ever will be from Horror, Horror, Horror Nights. I think I think you would be you would be like the Ellen thing where they scare the people over there. I saw those home. some of those clips uh, and they have this I heard you're afraid of clowns. You're not afraid of clowns? They whack you. Like, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that would yes. also be one of the uh is probably so one of the best videos, also one of the longest stints without me sleeping, I would imagine is probably uh calculated in that after the fact because okay. that I'm a big old scary cat. But I love the Mardi Gras event. That is so much fun. But uh, speaking of special events, the Maroon 5 one is one I am super excited about. Rob, a huge thanks to you. Thanks for giving me information about Universal, about this yeah. amazing concert. I cannot tell you how excited I am. Give us the exact dates. Uh, more information on the website one more time, just in case anyone wants to join. I will be there. You will be yes. there. So we'll all be yes. just like hanging out together. Come say hi. If you see us, Rob, tell us about it. Help close us out here. Yeah, musicafterdark.com. It is August 25th, 26th, 27th. Um, the actual event's August 26th. Uh, it's an Uber VIP event. Go to musicafterdark.com. Use use Michael's link down below, too. He's going to put the link down below oh, uh, so we know you're coming from this. And uh, can't wait to see you there. It's going to be a fantastic time. Thanks, everybody, for watching, for being a part of it. It means a lot. And, Rob, thanks again to you. Check out the link in the description. And Rob's channel is going to put that in the description as well. Thanks, everybody. Have a truly magical day, and I'll see you real soon.